Hi friends, it's Steph. So today I've got another fun Timu haul video. This will be part two um, and we'll go through um, some more things that I have. I think I'll have actually one or two more videos on this because honestly guys, I have so much stuff. Um, again, if you like these videos, you like this type of video, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to put my timer on so I can keep track of myself. So I don't go too far over, um, but let's get started. Um, the first thing I have is this cute little chair. It's got a little pillow. Um, really well made. It does have a little glue on here. It has little legs, little glue strings, unfortunately. Um, but it's wrapped really well. Um, really smooth. You can see some um, fabric strings here where it didn't get tucked in very good. But um, honestly, not bad. If it's not looked at way up close, I think it would be, um, you know, nobody's going to notice it. Let me try to fix this light so you can see a little better. There you go. Nice little red florals on it. Super cute. I'm not sure what I'll use that for. Um, I was thinking for Lucy's apartment, but honestly, um, I'm not sure. Um, I did get these shelves. Um, these came well packaged. Um, I thought about these for the general store, you know, just against the wall. Stack things on it that can be for sale. So um, these, I think, were almost $10 for this shelf, um, but very well made, good quality. It is wood. Um, I would absolutely buy this one again. So good quality there. Um, I bought a door. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm thinking of Lucy's apartment, but... Here's the thing. I have to have two, three doors in the apartment because I have one in the kitchen, one going to the outside of the house, and one for the back door um, that goes outside the kitchen. So I'm not sure I'll use this. It's okay. Um, it's not great quality. I don't care for this tall um, step up in for it. Um, it does work. It closes, but you see it goes both directions. So, you know, I don't know. I probably can make some doors a little bit better, um, but we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Um, sometimes um, I have this little um, container I plan on putting alcohol in this it's just a little pump bottle um, I honestly guys I did not know this was plastic I mean I'm not mad about that but um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger and I thought it was glass um, but I did not read the description so I probably should have but it will still work for what I need it to the little pump works this screws off and I'm going to fill it with um, alcohol um, to use with my clay products I also got another UV light um, the one I got with my UV um, resin it's just like a little bit i got this off amazon and it did come with a light but the light's not very strong so i'm hoping that this one's a little bit stronger um, i do use that for kits when i have me um, metal pieces metal wire that you have to bend together and everything those are so fiddly and hard to do with just traditional glues um, so i like to use uv resin on those let's see oh isn't this adorable a little um, tea set it's got big dinner plates um, teacup plates teacups uh, teapot and cream and sugar bowl um, very super cute um, I'll have to measure these for scale but they look pretty good um, so I probably I'm thinking Lucy's apartment in the kitchen but not sure yet All right, so I do have a little room box I was working on that is a classroom. I mean, I'm a teacher, so I thought, why not make a little classroom? So this was a little art set that all came together. There's some little pencils, some little notebooks, um, a little cute paint palette. How cute is this? Um, a little chalkboard that's already got writing on it, um, which, you know, you could hang on the wall or whatever. Um, an easel. Um, this is, oh, some little measuring tools, cute. 
a clipboard, some glasses, although I can tell you right now these are not to scale. Um, and then it came with this huge backpack. So you got these little baby things to go in this huge backpack. So the backpack I'll probably give to my little granddaughter to play with. Um, and the glasses for one of her dolls. She can use that. Um, but the rest I might use. I think this jar is a little big. Um, but the pencils I could probably definitely use in my little room box. It's a pretty small box. So I'm not sure what all I can fit in there. I have bought other items for that room box from um, some miniaturists on Facebook. Um, that I like much better. So I have a computer and other things that I've purchased. Um, this, oh, I put my scissors away. Some more um, books um, for the classroom. They're just little um, paper books. They do open. Um, let's see, I can open them and take one out for you. They're like little, I don't know if you could use them as notebooks or you could put them on a shelf and just pretend that they're real books. But they kind of look like composition books, so super, super cute. what else we got oh well let's see these these are some little blind bags and I saw um, Queen City minis do these I cannot remember what was in them but it seemed like there was a lot of cute little items um, cups and things so let's see what we have in these oh and I just dropped the first one it was a glass sorry <laughs> I'm not going to climb under my desk to try to get that but look there's a little cup with a handle how adorable is that um, very cute um, I haven't seen these surprise bags on there again another little um, beer mug that one's a little smaller than the first one though I don't know not much consistency, I don't guess. Oh, look, a cute little wine glass, but it's metal. Um, that's cute, and it is metal. <laughs> Let's see. A coffee cup, and you can see the scale is way off on these. Um, so I'll have to just figure out what to use these for if I use them. Here's another smaller well actually this one is closer to that scale but one's a little wider in the mouth of it than the other so I don't know y'all um oh this is cute this is a little glass like mug it's cute it's got a nice texture on it all right let's see what this one is I guess it's all glassware this is also a little um goblet with a blue bottom on it um pretty cute it's they're all plastic um except for the metal one but the rest are all plastic okay let's see what we've got here oh and this is a little champagne flute again it's plastic um not sure if those came up if i would buy them again but they are super cute so they can fit into my little container um, I'll show you this little container while I'm thinking about it. I purchased this um, to hold things, and you'll recognize some of these things from my last haul. Um, I just put them in here, but you have a separated drawer. Um, there's three of them, and just holds little tiny things. You'll see the, the candies fit in here, the jewelry findings, my hinges, the pail, um, the clock for Lucy's apartment, my furniture feet, um, my little candy canes, all of those fit in there. Um, it took me a minute though to find things, so it's not full at all, um, but that's nice, hard plastic, good quality. Um, I'm not sure how much I paid for that one. All right, this is a metal um, wash tub or whatever it is, not very good quality. You see there's a big... Um, it's misshapen a little bit, but it doesn't look like it fit very well to begin with. But it can work as a wash tub or something. Not sure what I'll do with that yet. Um, we'll just put it aside and save it with all the other miniature cute stuff. All right, these are chairs. Um, let me see. I'm trying to see where to open them. Sorry. Um, these are for Lucy's apartment. Um, their chairs were a little different than these, but I figure they're going to work. I'm going to make them work. Um, 
I have a small round table somewhere. Um, if I don't like it, I will just make something different, but I really thought those two would work. They just needed two chairs for in there. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, this is a chess set, and I thought I would put this. I'm not going to take all the little pieces out, but they are metal. It is very heavy. Um, even the chess board is metal. Um, you've got your pieces. Oh, I should have cut it the other way because it is did have a sealable um, bag, but I'll just put it in a different one. This is for the general store. I was hoping, y'all, to be able to set it on one of the... Um, barrels but I think my barrels are really small so I don't think that'll really work so I may have to come up with a plan B on that but very good quality on that chess board very very good quality all right let's see what we have next I have no idea what I'm using this for y'all I just I thought it was cute so I bought it um it's a little water dispenser um yeah, nothing I'm making right now is in this time period, so that'll just be something that goes in the stuff I have, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, so here we have a shipping box with some bottles. This says it's a Corona Extra, but it's a red glitter bottle. Um, and then there's some other little bottles in here again. Don't know what I'll make with this, um, but these little boxes you can put together and um, put those other things in there, I guess. Just one of those things I just had to buy, guys. All right. Um, this is, I do believe it's glass. Yes. A little milk pitcher. How cute is that? I'll put that there. That will probably go in Lucy's apartment. Um, displayed on the table. All right, here we have um, a little porcelain serving tray. Very nice. It is glass. It is seems to be porcelain because it's, you know, how it's really rough on the bottom of porcelain things. So super cute. It's got a little um, mistake right there, but, you know, guys, it's miniature. Who's going to notice? Not me. Oh, another galvanized um, metal bucket. Let's see if this one's in better shape than the other one. And I think these will probably be used to display things in the general store. And no, this is as poor quality as the other one. But, you know, once it's filled with something, I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, let's see what this is up next. Oh, this is an old-time coffee grinder so I'm gonna leave that in there it'll fit in one of my little drawers after I put it away um, but super cute I'll take it out I do believe it is metal um, yeah it's metal little coffee grinder super cute it turns the little drawer does not open and it's hollow underneath but very cute is there any other word to describe miniatures besides cute y'all I don't know. Okay, so here's my round table, and already I can tell you, ha, it is not going to work. Um, that is not to scale. So, plan B on my table. I do think I like the chairs, but the table is not going to work. Um, so, I'll have to figure out something else to use for that, um, which will be hard for me because I do like 1 12th scale more than anything. So, who knows? We'll see. Let me see what this is up next. Oh, another hanger, but I think this one came with a lantern. Let's see what else is in here. It's hard to see because I got all these darn stickers. Yes, so this one came with a lantern. Cute, it's plastic. The hanger is metal. And this is for um, outside the general store. Again, I think I told you that was my plan. So it hangs on the side. And then this just hangs on it, you know, so they could light up, light it up at night. Um, how cute is that? I love it. Okay, that's good quality too. Um, the, the wire on the lantern is a little meh, you know, it's okay. Um, this is a little tool I got. So 
This is like a little exacto knife in a pen. Let me see if I can get it open, guys. Hold on. This packaging, I don't know. So, it looks like a regular pen, so don't get that confused. But if you open it, it has like a little blade. I hope you can see that. Um, a little blade that you can cut paper and stuff with. And I thought with these little kits that I do like to do, um, there's a lot of paper in them. So I thought, you know, that might be something good to have and good, give it a try. Um, these are some little mini dinosaurs. I'm not sure. Obviously, I'm not going to use these in anything, but I might have bought these for my grandson. <laughs> it's just an egg filled with little baby dinosaurs. You just never know what's going to hop into your cart. Um, let's see what this is. I cannot see it because it is covered in stickers again. So, oh, this is a clipboard like came with the little art kit. Um, it's got like some a bang up on it or something. This is like a little piece of cardboard on here that mimics the paper. Um, still super cute. Um, that's metal actually, so not too bad. I'll put that with the school stuff. Now, I had already purchased these when I saw um, Queen City Minis do one of these blind boxes. Guys, don't waste your money on these. I wish I had seen her video before I had ordered them, but I thought I would try them anyway. Let me see if I can get it open. But they're really just kind of seemed like junky kind of things. There are a pair of binoculars, though, although I probably could use those somewhere. Um, so we'll keep those. But then there's a little blue plastic teddy bear, a little resin bear. And then there's something in this bag. I don't know. Let's see. This bag looks really old. Do you know how they look um, yellowed, kind of, when they've been sitting around a while? Oh, it looks like a little birdhouse. Well, I guess I got a little luckier than she did, but still, you know, not sure what I'll do with that. But it is cute, so we'll keep it. Okay, get rid of my trash. Piles up quick. Let's see. All right, this is huge. I was so hopeful on the phone, y'all. So this is a phone. This was supposed to be for Lucy's apartment. Um, I might can get away with you just using it in there anyway. I can't get it open, so. um, but it is pretty large. Yeah, it's, I don't know if I can hide it somewhere, you know, like on the desk or something and put a picture in front of it or something. Maybe I can make it work, but it is huge. So, yeah, not to scale at all. All right. These are, if I remember correctly, little files, you know, like little, they're like mail files, but like little sandpaper things. Let me see. Yes. So they're different grits of sandpaper. So super cute little sponges kind of thing. Um, we'll see how those work. I don't know. I'll let y'all know on those. They're kind of a weird sh um, size and shape, so I don't know. All right, this, if y'all recall, in Lucy's Kitchen by the back door is a rack of serving utensils. So um, that is what that is for, for Lucy's apartment. Okay, let's put those there. Um, I got a little resin basket. I think I had already taken this out of the plastic. Um, super cute. I mean, it's plastic, but it'll work. Little basket. Um, this is a little art box. Look how cute that is, y'all. Um, that was for my classroom, so we'll see. I probably will utilize that. Super cute. Um, this is a world map, again, for the classroom. Let me see if I can get it open. It is just a piece of cardboard, but it's just got a world map on it to hang on the wall in the classroom, so that'll be good. There's some more trash. I think my trash can is filling up, guys. 
All right, this is some more um, jewelry findings. I'm not sure I can utilize all of these because they have um, holes in the sides of them. Um, these beads do, but I think these I can be able to use, just not maybe these. We'll see. Um, but they come in a nice little container. It's got little snap lids closed. Um, good quality. Um, so that's a good, nice little storage container. I like that. And we'll make use of that stuff. Let's see. All right. Oh, I'm excited about this one. So this is for Lucy's Kitchen. It is an old-fashioned mixer. Um, I think that turns. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it'll spin. Um, again, I don't know about the scale. It looks a little small. Um, it came with a little spoon too, but um, you see how big the spoon is compared to the mixer. So we'll see if that one will work out. Gosh, I don't know if I'm batting a thousand on this scale today, guys. What is this? I don't know what this is. Let's see. Whoops. Grabbing other stuff with my scissors. Let's see. Headphones. These must have been for the classroom, but again, these are more like Barbie size, so scale is way off. So those will go to my granddaughter for her Barbies. Okay, let's see. Getting down to the end, guys. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, this is a piano. Okay. So this is for Lucy's apartment. Y'all know they have a piano in there um, underneath the big window. Um, I thought and thought about how to make a piano, y'all. And I thought, you know, I'm going to try to just buy one. Um, it even has a piece of sheet music with it. Um, and just see if I can't make that work for in there. And so this is what I bought. I did look quite a bit. Um, their piano was actually brown, but, you know, I think this one will work. It's pretty nice. Um, again, it's got a little piece of sheet music for it. Look how cute that is. Super cute. So I think that'll work nicely, and I don't have to stress about making a piano and look it even I don't know if y'all saw it opens up and it has the keys um, showing on it so super cute the stool's a little small but I think that will work nicely all right let's see what else we've got in here um a copper pot I am not sure what I bought this for it could be for the Lucy apartment or it could go in the general store okay oh super nice y'all it is metal the lid comes on and off super cute I like that all right let's see oh some more little glass um storage jars um not sure again. Oh no, these aren't storage jars. These are little baby cups. How cute are these? I have no idea the scale on these, but it does not matter because they are so darn adorable. And they are real glass, too. Let's see. And they came not broken. That's always a plus, y'all how adorable these are. Little teddy bears. Another little bear. Little bear and a paw print. How cute are they? And then a little bear and an orange. Pretty little orange juice. <laughs> That's cute. I'm not sure what I'll do with those. Not sure where those were meant to go, but I probably just thought they were just darn cute. So, had to get them. All right, here's another box. Let's see what's in the box. Well packaged, whatever it is. Let's see. Oh, this is nice. Oh, y'all, look. Some little mixing bowls. They are glass. Oh, my goodness. These are super cute. Look at those three little bowls. Um, those will go in the Lucy apartment. Super, super cute. Love those. Uh, 
Um, this is just a plain cup. Well, I guess a cup all by itself. Did I buy just a cup? I guess I did. Um, I mean, it feels... It's... I can't tell if that's plastic. It feels plasticky. Um, just a little blue cup. It's kind of misshapen. I don't know um, what I was thinking on that one, but yeah, don't know what I'll do with that. <laughs> At least for most of it, I have sort of a plan, y'all. All right, these are for Lucy's apartment. Some pots and pans for the kitchen. Or oh, this is a pressure cooker, y'all. Look how cute. And it was a charm, but what I'll do is I'll just take my um, nippers and nip that off. And look at that. Or it could, you know, just be the handle. You know how they all have a handle on them? Super cute. Because um, they did have a pressure cooker. I don't know if y'all remember when Lucy and Ethel and Ricky and Fred traded places. And the boys um, worked in the um, house. And the girls went to work at the chocolate factory. Uh, and Ricky tried to make chicken and rice. Um, that's when they used a pressure cooker. And it exploded in the kitchen. So... Um, again, more um, jewelry tools, guys. I don't know what I was thinking because I know I did have some. So, yeah, now I have another set. Gosh, I should start writing this stuff down on what I buy and so I don't buy doubles because that is kind of frustrating. It's just a waste. It's overconsumption, you know. I mean, I feel like there's just a huge overconsumption problem as it is and buying more than one of something that you don't need is just ridiculous. Not that buying all these miniatures, I mean, I don't need them, but it is my hobby and I enjoy doing it. So, all right. So this is a little water pitcher and two little glasses. Um, this is for Lucy's table. Um, this is all plastic and filled with some resin water. So um, these aren't the best quality. They've got little plastic nibs on them that I'll have to try to get off. Um, so yeah, they didn't take much time. And one glass is bigger than the other. They couldn't even get them the same size. I'm not going to take it. Well, yeah, I'll take it out because it's covered in stickers. Um, another map for the classroom. This one is another um, an atlas type map. Hold on, I didn't get that cut all the way. Um, it is nice. You know, it's just again a little card stock um, with a map on it. So yeah, super nice. It'll hang nice on the classroom wall. Okay. Uh, this one was just, yeah, I just wanted it, y'all. I didn't need this. It's a little mini water bottle. It is metal. Look how adorable that is. Um, once I got it, though, I realized that the lid doesn't stay on or anything. So yeah, kind of just something. It's just cute and tiny little imperfection on the top but super cute nonetheless and it is metal well made so um this is for the classroom again I feel like ridiculous because I didn't even tell y'all I was making a classroom but I have all this stuff for the classroom so um this is just a little pencil holder with some pencils pair of scissors a ruler in it to sit on the teacher's desk or something yeah it stands up so it's pretty cute all right, we are almost to the bottom, guys. Um, so there's a lid to something. It must have come out of its packaging. So this is just some cogs. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I really don't, but I liked them. I thought I could figure out something um, to do with them. They could be bases to lamps or something. So I just got a package of those. Oh, my bag is trying to jump away. What else I've got in here? Find the bottom of that pot. Hold on. You can tell all this stuff has been hanging around for a while, guys, because I still have orange Timu bags. So it feels like something else is in there, but I guess not. But see my orange Timu bag yet? There is something. There it is. That's the pot. All right. So it's just a little um, metal pot, you know, like a baking dish, a Dutch oven. Kind of thing, so super cute. Um, a coffee pot that I got. I did not get this from Timu. I got this off of Etsy, and this is for Lucy's stove top. Um, I have to build the stove. I have not done that, but that's for her kitchen. 
Um, I have a rug. I just wanted to check the quality on this. Um, not too bad. It's a little wrinkled up, but I think I can um, flatten it out. I can steam it because it is um, fabric. It is made with threads. Super nice. Um, it feels really soft, so that'll be nice. And then the last thing I have is for the general store. Um, this is um, a little mail container, a little post office box. It came with packages, three little packages and some letters. Um, how cute is that? Um, some more letters. They can fit down inside there. Um, so, yeah, because usually the general store might be where the mail goes. So um, we're going to put that in the general store. Now, I may paint over this and make it a little less new looking. Um, I have to research a little bit more on what the what it would look like in the general store. Um, and that's one thing I'm going to talk to you guys about next in my next video is the research that I put into before I start doing a new project. Um, I research a lot um, with Lucy. I have pictures printed out. I will show you all how I did all that. Um, for the general store, I haven't printed the pictures yet, but I have a lot of pictures that I saved on Pinterest. I have a special board um, just for the general store. Um, just to see, you know, what kinds of stuff they had in there, what kind of storage or shelving they had in there, um, just to see um, how I wanted mine to look. And I want it to be as authentic as possible, um, but that's not always, you know, possible. So we'll see. And then next time I have some mini um, blind balls that I'll open up and we'll take a look at those. So if you want to see that, come on back for our Timu haul number three as well and then um, we'll talk about researching and opening up some blind balls so um, if you think that sounds fun please like and subscribe and we will see you guys next time thanks everybody